All right, so let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Vion at Desar. Now remember, what has happened today is a serious security breach and it has of course brought back the echoes of the 13th of December incident back in 2001, which is etched in the memory of every parliamentarian. Back then, five terrorists had attacked the old parliament of India. Now, 22 years later, on the anniversary of the attack, a major security lapse took place at this time inside the new parliament building where two men jumped inside the chamber of the lower house from the visitors' gallery as the proceedings were in fact underway. They were apprehended and then taken into custody. The Speaker of the lower house has in fact called for an urgent meeting of the floor leaders, which we understand is presently underway as it has begun at 4 p.m. just a few minutes ago. Now, in the morning, the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi was joined by several top political leaders and ministers of the country at the old parliament building. They paid their tributes to the martyrs of the, on the 22nd anniversary of the attack. Now, on this day, five terrorists belonging to the lashkar e taiba and the jaish e mohammed infiltrated the parliament in a car. The attack on the parliament building had led to the deaths of at least five police personnel and two security personnel, one CRPF constable and a gardener. They ended up getting killed in that attack while defending the parliament against the terror attack. And earlier this afternoon, as the parliament was in progress at about 1 p.m., there was a serious breach that took place in the lower house of the parliament building, which triggered a lot of confusion. And these are the images of what in fact played out at the time when these true intruders were said to be in the visitors' gallery suddenly jumped inside the lower house of the parliament. They jumped in from the public gallery number four when the zero hour was in progress. Television footage shows them jumping from one desk onto another as they appeared to be headed towards the well of the house. They shouted some slogans and also opened canisters that emitted some kind of a yellow colored smoke. The intruders have been detained. They're presently being questioned and the house was adjourned. Outside the parliament, a man and a woman were also detained for protesting using cans that released some coloured smoke. And also, to give us more insights on this, we're being joined by Ms. Aditi Fadnis, who's a senior journalist. She's joining us live in this broadcast. Now, Ms. Fadnis, what we've witnessed in the last three hours is, is in some ways absolutely shocking, where these two individuals were said to be in the visitors' gallery and they jumped inside the floor of the house, the lower house of the Indian legislature, that is the Lok Sabha. And this was a complete pandemonium. What, what's gone wrong? How could a security breach such as this happen? Well, I really cannot understand how it can happen because as journalists, we were not only put through a very rigorous uh, security check, meaning our background was checked, we are not uh, uh, the police comes and checks at your residence if you uh, if you have access if you have a parliament uh, a permanent Absolutely. parliament pass uh, and so on and not only that our biometrics were also taken uh, so presumably that system is in place as well so I just cannot understand how such a thing could have happened uh, and to for visitor to jump from the visitors gallery is unthinkable I mean you are not allowed to sit to lean forward to look into the parliament house there is there is there is watch and watch staff which which checks you mm -hmm. if you lean too far forward so i just can't understand how this could have happened um, no but i would not like to speculate on who these people are what their motive was because that would be very very uh, irresponsible you know and also the fact that they were able to carry these canisters that release some kind of a yellow smoke you know anything could have been in those canisters uh, you're a senior journalist. Is it possible that someone with a canister like this could have walked in? Because I'm pretty sure every bank that is taken in is, of course, checked inside the premises of the parliament. Well, uh, you know, I'm not sure what the description of the canisters were. If they were so small that they were uh, they were capable of being hidden in your shoe, uh, well, then that's a different matter. But you cannot carry canisters and things like that into the visitors' gallery. It's impossible.
you just can't do it so how should how, how is the government now likely to react to this because this is you know a serious breach of security this is unthinkable it, the fact that it has happened and the manner in which those visuals are being played out you know this this shows that pretty much anything could have happened today because of the security breach that has taken place how do you think the government would respond to this well the last time it happened the government responded to it by uh, not only rounding up the usual suspects but Uh, basically attacking access of journalists okay although reporters had no role to play whatsoever uh access to our access to many areas in parliament house mm-hmm. was restricted after that and uh, now i don't know what they're going to do uh but at every stage parliament house has its own security right. it is not the delhi De- the delhi police only handles the outside perimeter of parliament house inside parliament house there is a separate uh, system uh, in place uh, they are very strict uh, and they are very uh, well till today we thought they were also very rigorous all right thank you very much indeed ms aditi farnes for joining us and getting us those insights this is a shocking incident that has taken place and i'm pretty sure the government will of course now put in place the measures that are needed to ensure that this of course is something that is not repeat again ever Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.